Hello. So before we start carving things out, we actually have to design them. So this is, you know, that's the CAD part of the CAD CAM. So this was the first thing that I made was just my address on a board. So let me pop down first. What did we use? Well, I'm using VCarve Desktop because that's what came with my machine. Nicely enough, it's about a $300 software, so it was nice of them to give it to us for free. That's one of the reasons I bought my machine. The other was because it was already put together. It was the least expensive put together machine. So let us look at this sign thing. What do we do? Well, how do you how do we do this? Well, how do we get started? Well, obviously, file new. You really need to know what size board you're going to be cutting on. Set this up because this is your workspace. It's going to adjust to the size that you have. Now we can see how things fit and how big things need to be. You need to be very specific about your dimensions it's because that's where things are going to be. If you can't say you got a 12 inch board, you only have an 11 inch board because it's going to miss the board. Thickness is very important to the point of I bought some digital calipers because a one by six is not one inch thick and a three quarter inch board is not three quarters of an inch. At some point in time, I'm going to be cutting through the board to cut something out. I need to be careful about how deep I'm cutting. Yes, I'm going to have a spoil board underneath it, but still I want to know exactly where I'm cutting. You also need to set up a zero position. Where is zero for the grid? Because everything is based on those data points. Where are we starting with zero? I'm using the top left corner as zero, and I'm also using the material surface, the top of the material. Yes, I got to change it every time I change material, but that's okay. Sometimes you got to re-zero just to re-zero. Anyways, I use top left corner just because vertically that's as far as it'll go on my machine. The piece of wood will go on my machine. My router can't go any farther than this, so I decided to use that as zero. So you choose your board and uh, you say, okay. Now some basic, basic editing stuff over here, plus some more involved features, which is, it's all about learning. You know, new, open, save. Import vectors. If you if you go out and find some designs already, bring them in. They can be vectors, SVGs, Adobe Illustrator, uh, Inkscape, DWF, some different file formats. You can also bring in JPEGs and PNGs, and the computer the, this program will try and convert them to vectors. This needs vectors in order to do the CAM part. Yeah, uh, job dimensions: cut, copy, paste, and design your own stuff from a blank slate. Uh, if I want to put a polygon on here, this one's going to put a pentagon. I can change number of sides that I want. Uh, stars, boxes, circles, ovals, lines, uh, arcs, some different things. Text, some different ways to deal with text. I haven't done the edit spacing. That's probably when you put it on an arc and the text kind of runs together at the top or the bottom, depending on the arc. Um, you need to push it out a little bit putting text on an arc. This is important, the trace bitmap, because if you bring in a JPEG or PNG, make sure someone's too crowded, too busy. Very simple thing. It will try and create those lines in the, in the vectors because it needs vectors. Uh, move them, change size, rotate them, flip them. I haven't tried the sort yet. And then a line, kind of important to make sure things are centered or left or right. And then some select and Groups, ungroups, merges, different ways, overlaps, um, trims, joins, connect things, th things I haven't, had. I'm just beginning this, so I haven't got this all yet. So that's how you get things set up. So I don't really care about that file. Any chance my number file is still floating around here? No, that's this one. Okay. Maybe it's back here. Nope. All right, so we will go with my house file. Not that one. We'll go with this house file. Okay. So I created a house with my name on it. The house is a vector. I don't remember if I brought that vector in or if it was part of the clip art because down here on the bottom left, there's some clip art it comes with. Oh, it was part of the, the clip art. Okay. Um... 
And then this is text, which is I made by using one of these text tools over here. And all sorts of different fonts to play with if you want, dimensions, left, right. Okay. How to run it, turn it, rotate it again. That was a rotate thing. So now once you get your vectors here, now it's time to do the part of the cam, and that's create tool pass. So this is tool pass. I did a V carve on this, and that's where it's going to cut out between these two vectors, and it's going to be a sloped wall on each of the vectors, and then just hollow it out in between. Um, so I said start at zero, which is at the top, and go down 0.4 inches. And again, I have a 0.765 board, so I'm good. Yeah, cho choose a tool. V carve needs a V bit, some different V bits. Different cuttings, I'm going to use end mills or ball nose, different sizes to work with. You know, all depend on what you have. Yeah, okay. Cancel. Um, we'll come back. Tool pass, come back. Oh, you want to pin them. Click pin. Okay. Um, use flat area clearance tool. I probably could have used that, and I didn't know about it. But what it does is it, cr it creates two tool pass for two different tools. One for a t big tool to kind of cut out all this blank space. And then a second tool path for the finer tool, which is going to do the details. It might save time. It might just work better. I just didn't do that. I didn't know about it at the time. Um, it, they don't give a, an offset because it's a V-carve. They don't give a ramp because it's a V-carve, but other ones will. Ramp means instead of drilling straight into the board, it's going to kind of slowly sideways go into the board while it's cutting uh, little by little. Dun, 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 dun. And then you hit calculate, and it calculates the vectors. What do I mean by calculate the vectors? Well, you can also pre oh V carve is the one I picked just to make sure you see where this is the screen you first get V carve. Um, let's preview the toolpath. So there's my blank board. Preview the toolpath. That's what it's going to do. It's going to cut all of that out. That's the ore is going to cut. That's how it's going to cut. And it's nice. Preview is awesome because it lets you rotate and see uh, are things going to come out right? Did I need to squish this in a little bit? Um, I had made tried to make something, and when I looked at the preview, it didn't come out anything the way I wanted it to. So that preview is awesome. Um, reset preview if you want to. Close. This is nice because it will show how long the toolpath is going to take to cut. This takes 53 minutes, and yes, it did take 53 minutes, roughly. And then the final thing is you save this out. Now, for my machine, I save it to the hard drive, and I put it on a, a USB um, flash drive, and then I take the USB flash drive to my machine, stick it in my machine, choose the file, and let it go. So that's the beginning. I will do show you some other ones in another video.